Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and we're going to continue Black Sails with episode 3 of season 2. Clint has weaseled his way back into the into the crew. I don't trust him, but but I can't help and have hope for the bigger vision of making a society for pirates on Nassau. The method and his way of getting to that point is questionable to say the least, but I'm enjoying watching it. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three. Uh, my pups got a new toy. Thank you everyone from Patreon. Uh, so if you might hear a couple clinks or clanks, that's them playing. They'll go to sleep in a little bit, hopefully. Okay, I gotta make sure my subtitles are on. I can't hear without my subtitles. We can't get an honest man appointed governor in the Bahamas. We can get him appointed. The problem seems to be keeping him honest thereafter. Well, what stands in the way of it? That's well, true. Green. The Atlantic Ocean. And also that. Put a man on an island, give him power over other men, and it won't be long before he realizes that the limits of that power are nowhere to be seen. And no man given that kind of influence will remain honest for very long. Especially back yes. then, it would be difficult to, make to keep a constant regulation because of the distance. I once heard from a gift. One of my favorites. And you might find it helpful in dealing with my husband going forward. Thank you. That's the same book. Although that edition is in Spanish, I don't think the lieutenant speaks it. Perhaps he should learn. <laughs> oh, gosh. Seeing Flint's journey and his evolution like this is enlightening. <laughs> Last item. Oh, he managed to do it. Wow. Spot for our anchors. But why ain't there been a vote? Well, I want to go home, back in the bay. We vote that fuck of a captain back into his station and he's already skirting the fucking rules. Ah, that's a good point. We're sailing a Spanish warship. Captain Hornigold 4 protects the bay from Spanish warships. Manipulation. We fly on the black, don't need identify us? You mean behind the giant red crosses on the sails? I want to vote. Well, you know what? I think it's fair. Especially after everything that Flint has kept hidden from them, they definitely should vote. Especially if that's cold. I use the word especially a lot. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just not going to be as easy to maintain a crew without, without another uproar. Mutiny. If he doesn't give them a reason to trust him. Ah, oh. dang! I almost took my fucking head off. <laughs> oh, this guy. <sighs> he's uh, he's so unpredictable. What's going on? No matter where I've been, one thing is true. There's always one. The one you don't cross. Hang you for Ooh, and now I got three. Interesting. I think it's no secret that since my arrival, I've been repeatedly provoked and harassed by the Guthrie woman. <laughs> and I think you and I have both seen enough of these things, so now they never end well. What are you telling me for? And if things were to deteriorate even further between us, I'd just like to know whether I'll have you to deal with too. <sighs> I can't imagine what we'd have to gain by taking an interest in the affairs of the Guthrie woman. Yeah, the captain has to be completely objective about this. Not that no I emotions. Think. Certain. Try as I may to be rational, there is an instinct towards the extreme that always gets the better of me. Sociopath. So that Psychopath. No matter how bloody this feud gets between she and I, I can rest soundly. No, you'll take no part in it. He has to take a part because he's part of the consortium. Ah, uh, well. From what I understand. Confidence in her new venture is tepid at best. Who knows how much she'd be missed if at all. She's the main connection. Hmm. I wonder if they could continue all of this without her. What's that? Tribute. And the respect of my crew, recent hall. Oh Would be a heavier. Only she taxed us over the state of the containers. Oh, oh my god. Imagine if they all start paying tribute to Vane. <gasps> Ooh. Hmm. He is, he is roughing up some feathers. 
I'm kind of here for it because I kind of like Vane. I do. I think he's been pretty rational. Oh, she fell asleep with Max again. He's gonna get jealous. Are they still in there? As far as I know, door wasn't open all morning. That is not <sighs> gonna sit well. I can't tell if Max reciprocates the feelings or just looks at this as an advantage, you know? I'll make contact with Captain Hornigold. I'll then attempt to persuade him to assign the bulk of his crew and his ship to sail in consort with us. And how do you plan to answer the question? Why is this request coming from you, Captain Flint, and not from Mr. Gates? Yep. When in doubt, the truth is a good place to start. Really? That is so ironic. Come on. Business. What a time, Mr. Dufresne. The ship belongs to all of us. I don't really believe that. that. We all benefit from it equally. It also seems a way to ensure that the next time someone raises a pistol towards you, well, the vanguard has a rooting interest. Honestly, uh, it's very hard for me to completely trust anything Flint says. And I'm sure Mr. Dufresne feels the same way. That's why he's... He's, he's laying it out like no like i i you want the vanguard because you want someone to defend you simple as that right they all know that we're headed back for the hooker's gold they all know where it is and they all know that its defenses are weakened we simply cannot allow that information leaking out onto the beach it's reasonable I'll let them go it is like. go back and watch the gold keep watching the spanish soldiers who are watching the gold they inland and out of sight. Keep constant watch on that beach until we arrive. Oh, that's scary. I should be no more than two days behind you, at which point I'll need to know everything about their routines, schedule, watch strength. This is so organized. I love it. Well, like, like a battle plan is what I mean. I thought we needed to get back to the ship as quickly as possible. You're bringing something to read. Hmm. It isn't for me. And he's still thinking about her. Amazing. What happened to the priest? I'm really curious. You and I have never shared more than a few words, and yet I feel like we're old friends. James talks about you all the time. Captain Flint. Yeah, she knows him as someone else, though. Do you know what he told me about you? What's that? Nothing. Is it possible that you're so unremarkable as to resist any further description than that? Oh, we're Certainly. throwing jabs, huh? You conspire with my father to sabotage our plans. You betray our trust. You cause almost irreparable damage as a result. Now I hear in the wind that in his absence, you've begun to forge new alliances with his enemies, with the farmers of the interior. It's true I've joined Pastor Lambrick's congregation and that Mr. Underhill huh. is a member. Yet here you she sit, joined the congregation. As if none of it ever happened. You don't know what you've seen. You didn't betray him? I don't believe I did, no. It is more complicated. Every man has his torments. You perceive the effects of Captain Flint's demons. Echoes of their voices. But I know their names of torments. <laughs> Dang. I don't know what it is that you owe Flint or that he owes you. But after the damage you've caused, I know what you owe me and I've come here to collect. I'm sorry, but that was like Barlow kind of basically told Eleanor, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't really know what's going on. And you're saying I'm an important, unimportant, but in reality, you don't even know the truth about Captain Flint or as he's known as James. Oh, oh, oh my God. I feel like it's like a little battle here. It's interesting. I need to speak with Underhill. I would like for you to help arrange a meeting. I thought he was an enemy of yours. Perhaps I'm willing to see things in a different light. I'll try. I don't think we should underestimate Mrs. Barlow because what exactly is she doing at that church? And what is she doing with all of the farmers? Hmm? Why do they call her a witch? This isn't enough. Then less flour and more rum. Men will expect some time in town before we depart. I want them as contented as possible when I inform them otherwise. Isn't that Honegold's flag? Ah, <sighs> it's 
Time to update Flynn on everything that's happened in this. Oh, God. What if Vane wants to go get the gold, too? What the fuck happened here? Huh. Been a shit show, obviously. Nothing has ever gone according to plan. <laughs> Gonna warn Eleanor. Oh, New crew on the island, captain by a man named Low. They're hiding some piece from their last prize. The other day, I had a moment with Eleanor. Told her all the things I wanted to say to her for so long. <laughs> and the moment she turned to walk away from me, do you know what I felt? The urge to go after her and hold her again. It's amazing, isn't it? The special okay. Us. So. What are you talking about? She knows you're doing it for Eleanor. Captain knows men are familiar faces here. Just today I heard all the captain was talking about were the awful things he'd like to visit upon Eleanor Guthrie. And it looks like Max isn't over Eleanor with Anne either. The only question that remains is what difference does it make what his cargo is worth? All right. Sorry to pause here, but it, it's, it's, I want to point out how Vane specifically said your place to Max. And I think it's true in how he just said that Jack and Anne don't know what they have with her. Uh, I think Max is a lot smarter and kind of unrecognized. Although Anne, I feel like, is a little bit more paranoid with Max. I think she's just swallowed up by the emotions she has with her. And Jack is, uh, I don't want to say none the wiser. But I think he, his main priority right now is how to restore his reputation. So... Max, I see a lot of potential. And I think Vane sees it too. I suppose if the value is great enough, it would give you pretense to move against him and call it business instead of calling it what it actually is. Correct. Correct. That's exactly what he's doing. Going to assume we have an agreement. They're both secretly protecting Eleanor. I don't know. It's not enough. Your former shipmates, they wish to sail again under their own banner. But so long as they bear the black mark you put upon them, their prospects will remain dim. Oh, Max is looking out for them. I'd like you to remove it. He can't. He killed his crew. Oh, okay. Jack and Anne have another ray of hope. Way to stop caring about her. Would you like to know how? No. Find somebody else. You understand the job I'm looking to fill? Yes, ma'am. You should know that Captain is still a threat to me. I know him, ma'am. I knew his sister before they put us on the ship. You asked me to bring one I would trust with my life. This is him. It didn't go according to plan. It didn't go according to plan. You ha oh God. Either each side has so much to talk about right now. I led myself to believe that I would either never see you again or that all our problems would be solved. I never made space in my mind for something in between. Right? I'd like to go back and retrieve the gold. Well, that might have been possible. When I had some place to bring it all back home to, before the bay fell into the hands of a madman, Eleanor Guthrie would never be so wantonly reckless with the security of this place. Because what I find most troubling about all of this is the sense that you don't share it. You look me in the eye. And tell me that you're certain that if I brought the Urka gold back here past those guns, he wouldn't use his position to rob me of every last ounce of it. That's true. Flint can't trust Vane. They have such a huge feud. I had to make a quick judgment. And in the moment, it was clear that the sacrifice it would have taken to get him out of that fort was simply too great. This island is such a delicate balance between so many forces. Oh, God. So much responsibility. What would you guys have done? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. A Spanish warship fell upon us. At that point, Mr. Gates' faith in our mission, his faith in me, was lost. I had to use my judgment whether to let him abort our entire endeavor and see my plans, your plans, evaporate or to stop him. <sighs> this sentence right here, this confession right here, puts things a little bit more into perspective for me. The way I viewed Gates was 
the way I put my my myself in the situation is if I had a long lifelong friend that I went through life or death experiences with, someone I confided in, someone that had my back, that covered for me, that fought with me, and you know that I had this almost like a uh, I guess sisterly or brotherly bond. I don't feel I don't think I could ever do something like that, and the way that Flint's talking right now it's like he had to pull away from all of these emotions and focus on the bigger picture because it's true if if gates you know <clears throat> if gates would have let him fall would have let the entire plan fall then everything that eleanor flint everything that's happened so far would have been for nothing and moving forward flint wouldn't have been able to try and make something better out of the island like the, the bigger picture so the, him saying it like this does put it in perspective even though it's a hard pill to swallow and it's still difficult for me to to you know go through you know it, it's still difficult for me to accept that he did what he did to gates so Let's see how Eleanor's gonna react. I stopped him. What did you do? What was necessary? And I guess I could see why Flynn's because angry at Eleanor. The of this place is everything. Exactly. And that there is no sacrifice too great to secure that future. Wow. And I can see how he's angry at I Eleanor that she didn't brother. take that extra sacrifice when he did. I'm sorry you were put to that choice. I know what he meant to you. So we are in agreement then. He must be removed from that fort. Oh my gosh. And then the fact that Vane is secretly protecting Eleanor, it like gets me. You'd be, there's nothing about any of this that can't wait till tomorrow. Get some rest. We can discuss this further in the morning. <sighs> She's not committed and he knows that. What is Vane to Eleanor? What is Flint to Eleanor? I know you and her didn't part on pleasant terms, and perhaps if you went to see her today. Lady Hamilton, I beg your pardon, please come in. <laughs> He's shocked. I mean, yeah, I don't think this was a very accustomed um, action from a lady. I don't think they're supposed to visit. <laughs> I thought perhaps today you'd join me in viewing them as my guest. It would just be you and I. I don't think that's a very good idea. Yeah, would you not enjoy my company? I like Mrs. Barlow. I think she... That would seem to be beside the point. The point is... How it would look. Yes, Mom. Exactly. She, you, you know, happy? strived to... Happy? Make, give herself a voice. You know? In my experience, there is an inverse relationship between the degree of one's happiness and the concern one suffers for what the neighbors think. This isn't an abstraction, Mom. The back whispers of infidelities. My husband's heard them. And I suspect, given the look on your face, you've heard them too. Thomas and I are not bothered by them. Are you? Yeah, like she like I think her and Thomas really tested the boundaries of that time you. and thought outside the box, and I like that. Pardon? How can you stand so close to him, knowing what he's capable of and sooner or later you will be next? Five million pieces of eight. Why? How do you do it? You were right. I don't know where our loyalties lie. Oh, they talked to Harnacourt first. Oh, yeah. Oh, we I act now to remove him or no one will. Wow. <sighs> and I suggest we act quickly. Consortium. Like, <clears throat> if they, again, if they were just to talk to Vane. I don't know. But then they would have to Captain, split the gold, which is not good. Who are they? Men wise enough to know that on this island three things are known to be true. Number two is Jack Rackham's a crew killer. <laughs> if you're angry about the whore me, she just fucking say so. My trouble isn't that she knows how to play the thing between your legs better than I, but the one between your ears. Oh, so your Jack is more aware. Clouded at best that she knows it and intends to use it to drive a wedge between us because it is painfully obvious to me. Oh, wow. So Jack is very aware of it. Oh, okay. Fear. Then why don't you stop it? Look on. Max is her, Eleanor. Wow. Join me. Oh, this is how he removes it? Okay. I'm repairing your reputations. So just sit there. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little twitch. I'm sorry, that was really good. I love these actors. You guys... 
You guys recommend the best shows. We hardly knew you. Look at the two of you. Every reason to run screaming from each other. And yet you're still as thick as the moment I first found you. You'll either be the death of each other, or we'll all end up working for you someday. Oh. Foreshadowing? Why? Why now? Because of Max. <sighs> Those two, along with Max, would make one hell of a of a crew. Amazing! She just proves herself to Jack and Anne too, and proved herself Stand to Vane. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Jack just looks confused. Well, I believe so. Congratulations, Jack. Now you know what it's like to rise from the grave. <sighs> but you know, Jack is still gonna, I think, have trouble getting his, his, well, his exactly solid feast, footing in. Procured, getting uh, leads. Where are you going? To go see Mrs. Barlow. I quietly instructed the drivers to take you home. Propriety. I imagine there are two kinds of men who make their life at sea. Those whose sense of duty forces them to leave any sense of permanence or identity behind them. And those for whom that is the attraction. I think you're someone who's very good at managing how you're perceived. Mm -hmm. And perhaps getting what you want without anyone ever knowing how you did it. That's or exactly what Flint does. happened at all. That's exactly what it does. But perhaps you're more concerned with whether or not people talk about what you and I may be doing behind closed doors than with what we actually are doing. What? Oh, oh. What are you actually doing? Oh my God! So you went. Okay. Well, what? Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, I knew this, but it's still like kind of a surprise, actually seeing it come into fruition. But we knew this. <laughs> I wonder what he's thinking here. I wonder why he did it. Well, I guess not to mix up her her image. What's going on? Bane. What are you doing here? It, so he might team up with Ted. Ted Lowe. And if he does... I don't know. I wonder if he knows that Flint's going after Vane. I admire you for coming to see me earlier. Showed you a man who knows his place. So I'd like to make you an offer. Partnership. Between your crew and mine. Ooh. To what end? To what end? To what end? I'm not interested. But you haven't heard the deal yet. I heard I was recently deprived of my ship. Which means I need a new one. I wish you to come with a strong crew. All the better. Let me stop you there. It's painfully clear you've got feelings for the Guffrey woman. Mm -hmm. If you could bring all your men to bear to protect her, I think your men couldn't care less about Ellen the Guffrey. And I must say, coming out here alone like this, it only serves to confirm our suspicions. Yeah, but I don't think Vane is a weak character. Do your men even know you're here? To begin with, you know? I think the power of Vane's reputation and him as a character is that he can hold his own pretty well. Hence how he got a new crew to begin with, right? Oh, he's gonna steal it! Means you get up and get off my ship. I get your ship. I get your cargo. Oh! I get your weapons. This is the infamous Captain Vane. Get it all. Wow. Oh, exactly. But I get in exchange for all that. You get to live. I had start. Oh! Oh my Mr. God. Holmes. Mr. Holmes doesn't work here anymore. Oh my god! Wow! He is meant for the sea. I love the action sequences. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, man, come on. 
Is that it for him? Really? I don't know. Who's gonna come out the door? Who's gonna come out the door? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Stop, stop. Oh! Is... Wow! I did not think this character was gonna come in and get out quickly like this. Oh my god. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. I wonder how valuable is this woman? <sighs> What's this saying? I don't know. I apologize. Didn't imagine your new crewmates would appreciate you and I speaking directly. I know he and Hornigon spoke, Eleanor. and I have to believe that he went to see him after he left my office. I would ask you not to put me in this position. Yeah, please. I, I know Flint wants Vane out of the fort. I know Hornigold wants it too. What happened to Mr. Gates? I've never been under any illusions of what he's capable of, but this is just too... Eleanor, you have put money behind him. Mm -hmm. You have put your credibility behind him, and now it's you would resist him? It's true. Join with Captain Vane against him? This isn't about taking sides. You need to ask yourself what you want, where your loyalties are. And how far you're willing to get there? And whom do you trust? My ah! I angered Charles Vane. Ooh, ooh, boy. He's my favorite captain. He is. He's gonna expect some gratitude and she's gonna be angry and I, I don't I don't know. I hope it's not what I think it is. Didn't do it for you. No, but it certainly doesn't hinder her. Oh Okay. I mean yeah, I can imagine it's a weight off of her shoulders. I don't know, these two are complicated. are the definition of complicated. Like, my god. Two very conflicting careers. Or is it? Six men, maybe seven. That should be achievable now. With just this week's till, we can most likely acquire a paragua. It'll be a small start. We're gonna sail again. And Max is gonna take care of, of, the, of the house. Does she not want to sail? What the fuck are you waiting for? Oh! Oh! She does! Okay. They're a thruple. They're gonna be a thruple. One at land, two at sea. Oh my god! Is Max gonna be okay with this? I don't know. How's this gonna work out? I mean, they both have to care for her a little bit, at least a little bit, right? Compromise? Compromise! We're compromising! There's something I need to show you. Oh, he's laying out all his cards. I don't know. What if she betrays him? I don't know what... I don't know if I have trust in Eleanor. She switched sides a lot whatever's the most convenient, you know? Or the most beneficial, should I say. Her father's Lord Peter Ash, governor of the Carolina colony. Low recorded in his log the ransom amount he intended to demand. 250,000 pounds. So Vane's thinking... As soon as she wakes, I'll get a particulars and go ransom her myself. Yep, exactly. Ash won't be trifled with. I have no intentions of trifling with him. He's fanatical about exterminating men like you. Eleanor, I wasn't asking permission. Wow. <sighs> Is he gonna give her some of the money? Dang, what a bold statement. What a bold move. Told them what you asked. They're not pleased. Please be honest, Flint. Please, please, Good. please. I want to cheer for you too. Is it? Why don't you go down this road? What if there's no turning back? I don't think... I don't know, I feel like he made up his mind some in Mrs. Barlow's house. How desperate you must be to go home. 
be embraced by Nurse Elenya. We should keep a tally on how many speeches Flint is giving. I'm here to tell you. It has been taken from us by a madman. Held hostage by threat of force. Now, I would like to say that the affairs of the beach should never take precedence over those of the purse. But in this case, these issues would seem to be one and the same. Even if we could ignore all of this and go on to win the Urkas Are they storming the beach? Yeah, they are. At sunrise tomorrow, we make our terms clear with no room for bargain or compromise. Oh. Have until sunrise tomorrow it's to like make he's that fort. I will rain holy hell down upon him. Oh. Drama. Oh my god, this show is incredible. Like, how... It is so... The, the, it's so twisty and turvy. Like, we've seen Eleanor side with Flint and Hey Vane. And then, you know, we got Gates and Vane's a good guy, bad guy, good guy, bad guy. Like, towards Eleanor. It, it is... My god. My, my god. Um, now we have Eleanor and Vane on the same side. Flint and Horn of Gold. I guess are gonna rain hell upon the island, right? I'm actually pretty surprised that Flint doesn't want to go towards the, the gold, like immediately. That's really surprising towards me. But it seems that the island really is his priority. Which I can admire. I can I could see that. I love the, the glimpses into how he met Mrs. Barlow. As for the I'm sorry. I wonder if that's because he's now definitive. He is, he, he's, he's so determined to make that island his home. He's determined to make that island into something new. Whereas uh, Miranda wanted to ask for pardon, right? We'll see. We'll see. And we'll see how Van will respond. He has now the, the, the Lord Ash's daughter, so... Can he can he protect the fort? Can he actually do it? Can he protect the fort and get the prize and get that ransom? I don't know. I don't know. And Flynn Hornigal had no idea that this is going on either. <sighs> this is dramatic. I'm ex <sighs> God. I don't know how they, they work their way through all of this because my God. <laughs> it's like, how could this possibly go wrong? It's like the Urko was the main focus for so long, and now it's just it's it's political on one island. I love it so much. I'm having so much fun. Um, anyways, if you would like to see the full episode, my Patreon is linked down in the description box below. I also do have memberships open if you like to support the channel. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please share your thoughts. I love, love, love reading your perspective, um, your thoughts, feelings about cap the captains. And just no spoilers, please. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.